Ms. Ivan, this is a chat portion of the webinar. All right, blessings. Thank you for posting your questions. Uh, Gundium, any messages from higher self? Oh, one second. One more. All right, I'll start again. Uh, let's see here. Any messages from higher self? Uh, just continue to trust yourself. This might throw some spirit guides you're clearing out. Uh, you also had a lifetime as a rock climber in your past life. That might not make much help now, but maybe over time. Any messages from main guide? Uh, like you said, I think, yeah, a lot of times as a cook, he definitely had a lot of times like, he actually been a cook on slave uh, ships. Um, I don't think you were a slave, but you were cooking food for slaves and the crew. Actually, it was a Palladium ship. Yeah, it's just, uh, I don't think you knew it was a slave ship at the time, though. And now you're here on Earth. Uh, Carol, any messages for me? Uh, I assume there's reptilian energies that you're clearing. Also, you're uh, trusting more of yourself, trusting more of your higher self. So I could get more downloads from your angels. And just uh, your connections to nature will, you know, eventually come more clear. Yeah, just find there's still some blockages that you're doing a cleansing with. Any messages from Gartha? Feels like your timeline, I mean, it might not always make complete sense, but feels like you're redefining it. And just, you know, it just feels like things are actually speeding up in a good way. But it feels like your, things are happening the way that you wanted to, which is good. Anna, any messages from my father who died in December? Oh, he's doing fine. I feel like he's playing a racquetball or some kind of some kind of ball, baseball or something. He feels like he's so clearing out his energy still, but it feels like he's doing it to get his mind off of Earth. Um he you know, he's doing some, he say he's doing some kind of therapy, you can say. Second question, my parents separated when I was nine months old. What was the purpose of me not being raised by my father? Why did my soul have to experience that? I uh, obviously wasn't right. And you needed that feminine energy, but you also brought a lot of masculine energy to yourself. So it's like you're the feminine and the masculine. And you just, yeah, you just, you needed to learn. If I had a lot of masculine, more you might realize. And so you need the feminine to be part of your life through your mother. Uh, Pamela, uh, any messages for me? Uh, I just feel like you're cutting cords with old energies, old family members. And looking into the future, of course, I feel like December is a good month for you. Not to say the other months won't be good. I feel like December will be a very good, good look month for you. Any messages from Yeshua? Uh, the deer. The animal, the deer, seems to be very connected to you. Like you're um, just a very forgiving, kind energy that you're very connected to yourself in previous lifetimes. So, uh, Rachel, I've uh, been very, I have been uh, tired this week. So, I did an ed cleanse for the heck of it. I suppose the outcome of the cleanse could be red light tea leaves. If I read the egg right, I may have cursed the symbolic cage. Is the egg cleansing actually work with this clearing the negative energies? Yes. Yeah, you just have to believe it, though. You're not always believing it. I'm still not working on my root chakra. I've been getting painful uh, obsesses and eventually clear. Uh, I doze. Uh, I, do, I dose them with rubbing alcohol. Was the progress? I'm like clearing my root chakra. Well, yeah, it's just 
There's a lot of reptilian energy there. Obviously, a lot of re a lot of forgiveness needs to be done there. Seems like you're just, you know, angry with yourself a lot. And it's good to let that go. A lot of bitterness that needs to be uh, released. Uh, Jane, welcome, my friend. Uh, your home is two orange cats. It's a housing issue. So far, no luck. Appreciate your thoughts. I don't know. I feel like an ad in the paper might help. I don't know if you've done that. Yeah, you might have to do some advertising. I wouldn't trust Craigslist. But an uh, ad in the paper should uh, do something for you. It's just a thought. Yeah, or there might be other websites possibly. Craigslist does not have a good energy, though. Any messages from my higher self? Uh, well, I feel like you're going to hold on to those cats for a little bit. It feels like they're cleansing your energy, helping you out. So, yes, you will find the right home, but it feels like it might be a little while. Maybe a month or two. might be sooner than that, but it feels like they don't want to leave. So it's something you'll have to do a cleansing on there. Uh, Chris, uh, one person bought from my shop and the person says that somebody stole her package next to his door. Is this true? Or is she going to trick me? And it's not very, it's not clear. Um, uh, yeah, you're probably just going to have to go with it. Just, yeah, just a part of the online stuff. Yeah, it feels like you just have to just, it is will happen every now and then, but, you know, or ask for more evidence. Of course, it's hard to get evidence of that. I don't feel like this person would want to do this. So I don't feel like this person has any reason to do it. Any messages for me from Astral? Uh, realize this good deed, though, will bring you good deeds. So... Yeah, I mean, you know, you're you're building up a good rapport. So even if the person is lying, which I don't think the person is, it's still that you're having a good track record. Well, as the universe looks at that. So yeah, good one good day to bring a lot of other good things to come through. Michaela, do I have a past life or like connections with my friend Kay? Uh, yeah, some Palladian connections, but also even Arturians. And yeah, just been star beings in higher dimensions. It's... I'm not getting a full detail. I feel like you've been both foxes in your past life. I'm going to view an apartment this week. It's a new location I'm not familiar with. Can you check my higher self with guys to see if you feel yes or no? Um, That's not clear. I mean, you're really, you got, I mean, it's, 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 um, it seems to be all right, but you have to make the final decision. You know, it feels like it's okay, but it's, it's, it's really up to you. Yeah, it feels decent enough, but, you know, you're, you're, you're the final answer. Oh my God, it's Moses and my higher self having a message. I just know you're bringing good luck to yourself. Continue those good luck time wise to bring, you know, positive energies feels like you're you know there'll be times when things work out for you and times that won't but you're coming to times when things will work out i could really use some good advice from fire self i might buy this house nearby this house is built uh, 2000 would this be a good investment for us we'll have to realize this is a chat question <laughs> And to really give you an in-depth answer, I'm mean, going to do the best I can, but realize it's just a, a low-budget chat question. I mean, it feels like it's all right, but, you know, you have to trust your own intuition on it. I mean, yeah, it'd be a good investment, but it has to be a long-term investment, though. I mean, it's going to be stuff breaking down and all that, but, you know, it's, you know, if you feel like you can't live without it, 
Feels like you already made a decision on it anyway, which is good. Uh, Gerald. Uh, whoa. Uh, I've always found things to do with my future fascinating, no matter what it is in the future, or what is the near future, or the far distance future, is because I'm part of those sort of future t realities. Oh, yeah, yeah, time, yeah, you're a time traveler. So, yeah, it's just that, well, that's where you live. Yeah, you live in a futuristic reality. So, yeah, you look into the future. I think it's part of your intuition. It's part of who you are. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just part of your natural state. It's part of your DNA. Any messages from my pets? I realize they're not pets. They're just family members. Um... I don't know if you have a bird or not, but I feel like there's a bird energy that's around you. I don't know. They just, the pets, the animals just like to make you laugh. I mean, they're warning from you, the human stuff, but they just like to make you, you know, clear out your energy and just help. Yeah, just laughter really when it comes down to it. And they like to hide a lot. Margo, Margo uh, I'm 65 and thinking about getting a job. How do my prospects look? Yeah, just something that's low, low maintenance, you can say. Yeah, something where you don't have to be on your knees, you know, like cleaning or something like that. But yeah, be good. It's good for you to walk around for sure. Uh, any messages from higher self? Uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, actually, I see you around like a flower boutique or something like that. But of course, it's not always up to you. But you definitely have the connection with flowers and nature and things like that would be a lot of fun for sure definitely make you want to live forever that's for sure you know it'd be like a piranha garden you know something like that uh david were were all the pyramids that survived the fall of major known civilizations brought to this planet yeah 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 they're all the technologies are brought here yeah but well obviously it's it's alien versions of us though yeah i don't know if any technology is really made here it feels like they all came from somewhere else Got an energy flux from within the galaxy be magnifying regards its intensity transfer that focus energy to the core of our planet to enable the planet to move from its orbit position yeah probably i don't think that's going to happen but yes yeah, well, the 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 chakra, the the core of the planet, you know, it shifts its frequency and can be pulled or moved. The planet can be moved by Mother Earth at any time, but she wants the moon there because humans have to learn from the moon. You know, we have to learn, or you know, it's kind of like this world's in time out, and we have to figure out our. Well, you have to look at it that way, but we you don't. Know, you know, we have to figure ourselves out, you know. Mia, Mia, do my guides have any messages for me? Uh, there's a lot of feline energies. It feels like you're healing from the feline lifetimes. You know, some of the lessons you didn't learn in, in the feline worlds you came to learn here is like sometimes you can't learn on other planets. But it feels like you're learning those lessons now, so that's a good thing. Is the fairy collective have any message for me? Are uh, you releasing any spells or any type of anomalies, mind control? You're bringing more positive energy around you, so just healing depression is a big thing. Amy, what connections do I have with Orion? Oh, uh, it's countless lifetimes there. Yeah, some of them have been t testing. You definitely had friends with insect toy beings, like beetles and things like that. In a good way, but if like, yeah, feline, yeah, feline lifetimes there, elf lifetime. I feel like the feline is really strong with you. Uh, question two, there used to be a cat in a neighborhood named Jack. He used to come and visit and hang out in my house sometimes, but we haven't seen him for about two years. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, I feel like he passed away. Yeah, he found some old lady to live with, something like that, and he passed away. I guess that's the vibe I'm getting it from him. Um, Miguel, uh, the other day, a chair fell in the living room and he spirits. 
Uh, I feel like a grandmother energy, someone similar to that is around, but nothing to worry about. It feels like they just got frustrated by your situation, but yeah, that's all right. Uh, question two, any messages from the wizard? I don't really, just... It was ready to go, that's all. Yeah, I wouldn't look too deeply into that one. He wanted to be around your energies when he died. It's like an old friend, something like that. Um, what, what did Archangel Gabriel and others mean when they said I should forgive myself? Oh, it was forgiving yourself is just forgiving any mistakes you might have made in the past. You know, that's going to just put to like forgiving any, you know, anything you might have regretted or anything, feel, healing regrets. Anything like that, especially when you're a child. Is my energy feel clear? Yeah, it's just feels like sometimes you're uncertain of your future, uncertain of yourself at times, but it's okay. Uh, Wanda, along well, now I have had visits from presence in my bed. This is I wake up and feel a pressure on the bed. As if walking and then tingling on my feet, like sometimes moves. Uh, what is this, please? Yeah, it's an angel. It's just spirit guides. You haven't really left the astral. Yeah, you're still in the astral when you wake up. Yeah, I feel like there's also a male presence there that does love you. So, Eric, um, I had, have I had an Neptune? In my life since 2011, you continue to 2026. Uh, I'll go beyond that, though. Yeah, I'll go beyond 2026, but yes. Are my CD ideas in that too much? Yes. Anything with water has a Neptune energy connected to it. Not just because Neptune is here, but either way, it has water connections. I uh, just started connecting with using, I don't know what that is, Zynga plant. Uh, incidentally, had some fly in my ear at work today with similar painful burn. Last well, this afternoon, what messages my higher self have about the synchronicity? Well, you're just healing your chakras. I want. You know, if a bug flies in the air, I wouldn't look too deeply into that. It's just attracted to your energy, that's all. What inside does Mark Angel Michael have for me at this time? Uh, you're, yeah, you're removing parasite energies. So that's a kind of a big deal. So continue with those in, um, intuitions, that, that frame of mind. Uh, Vasco, the girlfriend has been experiencing bad anxiety to the point she can't hear and sleep. Uh, yeah, astral attacks. So it's good for you to put your intentions to clear that. I don't think she's powerful. I mean, she might be powerful enough to clear it. Think of like old boyfriends, old connections in her past. Yeah, and the astral can get really violent. So, I mean... Some of this is her reflecting on herself, healing her own anxiety. So just healing her own darkness. I feel like her dad's energy is connected to that. Any messages from her self with guides? Um, you had a lifetime where you can read anything. Kind of like a robot where you can absorb, like look at a book, pick up a book and just know what's in it. And you have like a unique ability. You've also been connected to Einstein in your past life. Like as a friend, like even similar to that, of course, the world you were on, being Einstein was very normal. You might even feel like you're insignificant there because everybody was extremely talented. But either way, you brought that talent here to this world. Uh, it'll un unravel itself when the time is right of your uh, connections here. So you're just an observer for the most part. There's more to it than that, but that's the short version. All right, everyone, thanks for posting your questions, and uh, have a good night. Blessings.